So another Mitsubishi Auto Hub BGC content here. So I just came from the Mitsubishi Triton GLX. So check that out on my channel. Oh my gosh. Let's go inside. This is the 2024 Mitsubishi Mirage GLX hatchback. I never actually toured this uh, Mirage hatchback myself. This is the first time I've seen one up close here uh, in the showroom. So again, I'd like to thank Mitsubishi Ota BGC, to Sir Ram and to Sir Mart for making this all possible. So unlike with the current G4 sedan, this retains the older look. I gotta be honest, this is a little bit more of my taste since I do like uh, small cars anyways. This still has the same face like usual, but being the newer GLX mod, you get a blacked out grill, blacked out wheels, and side mirrors too. So this is not officially the black edition, but there are some hints here and there. So pairing this thing is still the same, a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated 3 cylinder engine with 78 horsepower and 100 and newton meters of torque. So there are two brands as well available. What I'm here currently is the CVT transmission, but there is a manual transmission too available if you want that. So on the side profile, it's cutely proportioned. It's a very small car compared to the Mirage G4. Finally, I saw one side by side. Yeah, this is way shorter than that of the sedan. And the rear, again, it carries the cute design. And two, let's not forget, like with the G4 sedan, this have halogen lights all around front and rear. And you don't have repeaters on the side mirror. They are just present on the side of the body itself. And unlike with the G4 sedan, this has a little bit better boot space since, again, and this is a hatchback. You have a bit more flexible of folding the rear seats than the sedan itself. Here in the interior of this is exactly the same like with the G4 sedan. But only one difference I found here is in your instrument clusters. This is the much older layout of Mitsubishi. It even has orange lighting which gives it a little bit more of an old school vibe. So same gobbins here. You have electronic adjustments for your side mirrors and then you have an infotainment system here i'm not sure if this hatchback is equipped with android auto and apple carplay because this is the not mistaken the older unit compared with the g4 sedan and two you have got a cubby space here and a glove box down below air conditioning control same here and then further down you have a cubby space with two cup holders and then here under the gear shift pretty much the same you have a b mode for your first gear mode if if you call it like that manual handbrake a cup holder over here and seats it's pretty much the same it's all fabric and it's very much uh comfortable to sit in like with every other mirage and the uh, ride seems pretty much the same just a little bit of wobble here and there so what's different now with this uh g4 hatchback is at the rear seats so this is the rear of the Mirage hatchback. So similar stuff here like with the G4 sedan. Well, even I forgot to mention like the ones in front. Everything here on all the door cards is all plastic. There's not even a cubby space here for the rear. Sounds pretty much the same too. And this is what differs too with the G4 sedan. So space here in the back. Good feet room and knee room like the sedan. But I have a little bit more headroom than usual now compared with this sedan. And your head feels a little bit more free here than usual since the G4 sedan has a, a little bit of a sloping roof design. So yeah, headroom. I, I prefer it here than the sedan. I gotta give this to the hatchback. And really there's a very small map pocket here behind only the right front passenger seat everything here is the same one cup holder in the middle uh, the seats here too are all fabric and yeah that's a quick walk around tour of this uh, Mitsubishi Mirage Hatchback GLX so for the cost of all of this this one stands at 772,000 pesos so Oh, still on the budget side very good value but some of the competition have kind of caught up already with this uh, Mirage again maybe this just needs a facelift and additions here and there I think as well uh, hopefully improve the infotainment system like with the G4 sedan that's why the sedan's more popular than this hatchback in the first place so yeah that concludes my walk around review of this Mirage hatchback so I'd like to thank everyone here again at Mitsubishi Ota BGC to Sir Ram and to Sir Mart for making this all possible so hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews and more Mitsubishi reviews and to let's not forget the upcoming Triton test dives hopefully soon bye bye